Hola mi gente and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to this channel, hi, my name is Alexandra and I would love for you to join the family. Now guys, I'm doing something completely different. I never ever really start off with my makeup already done, but I just wanted to show you guys what I did. Now today I will be testing out the new Halo products from Smashbox in this year 2020. And I try out the new powder and the new highlight right here. I got two shades. I got light not night. Ugh. I got light neutral and light for the powder. Just because I wasn't sure which one would be best for all over my face or under the eye area. Awesome. When trying out the powders in the store, please try them out if you're buying this. So, because I thought I was going to be light medium, but I'm actually night neutral or light. So, do test them out. Just a little heads up. And let me tell you guys the prices of these two. Okay, so the powder was $42 and then the highlighter was $35. Now, let's really see if these products are really worth those price points, especially with the high competition in the drugstore. All right, so let's get to testing these products. All right, since I got two powders, I wanted to use the light under the eyes and then light neutral for the rest of the face. So I already have some concealer on, so I'm just going to freshen that up a little bit. Take out any creases that may have happened under the eye. Okay. I'm going to take the light powder and I'm just going to move it this way. And I want to see how it looks baked under the eye just a little bit, like setting it with a sponge and then how it looks set with a brush. So I'm just setting everywhere where I have concealer. And it looks good so far. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, refreshing that concealer, taking out the crease that I had under the eye, and then I'm just going to now take a little fluffy brush, like I'm taking my G17, getting a little bit of the powder and just placing it under the eye. I mean they both work the same way. It is true, it does have a light coverage. I mean, it still makes my under eye area crease, but yeah. Now I'm just going to try out putting the light neutral on the rest of my face. You know, I have a feeling that I could use light on the rest of the face. But I don't know, let's see. Cause the light medium, I was gonna get the light medium, but that looked a little too yellow and darker than my skin tone. So I'm going to try the light medium. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Tati Blender Foam on one side and then a brush on the other to tell the difference. So I'm just going to twist it again. I'm just going to take a brush on this side. Take a big fluffy brush. And just set this side of my face with the brush. Now, I don't know if that really made a difference. I want to see if I could use the light on the other side. Yeah, I mean, I could use the light. It doesn't really, since it's not that full coverage, you could use the light on either side of the face. So I want to see now with the blendable. I want to see how the light looks here. Yeah, you could use the light and if you like my skin tone to set your face. And I definitely feel like I like the bundle better for patting this into place. Because I feel like the, the light neutral gave me a little bit of a tint. Like, let me put the light neutral on. Yeah, it's like the same thing. So yeah, I would def I would use the light 
just because it doesn't give me any other tone to the skin and it just sets everything since it's light coverage it doesn't really matter and i do prefer the blendable side than um, a brush i just feel like it applies it smoother okay and i mean it doesn't really brighten the under eye area so if this is definitely just to set the face you will have to find like a brightening setting powder for under your eyes I would just definitely recommend this powder for doing the rest of your face. But it is really pretty though. It's a really nice setting powder that doesn't emphasize texture because I do have a lot of texture right here in my nose area and it's not emphasizing it, which is a really good thing. So now I'm gonna move on with bronzer. I'm gonna use my Revlon Skin Light Sunkissed Bean Bronzer. Just gonna bronze up the face really quickly i'm just gonna smile apply it to wherever i'm going to bronze and i'm just using blending motions then i'm gonna do the same thing on the other side just smiling pressing it on and then blending it And then I'm just going to do my temples really quickly, just so it could go in together with the rest of my face. And then a little bit on my forehead, just to bring back some life into the skin. Okay. I'm just going to blend it all in together with the fluffy brush okay now it's time for some blush i use my flutter in love blush from kylie cosmetics take a little brush like this apply the blush really quickly so we can get on to the new halo highlight I mean, so far, the powder did do a really good job of setting my face because everything else has been blending nicely, like the blush and the bronzer, which is a really good sign. Okay, now I'm just going to take that brush again and blend everything out. Okay. Now let's go on to the new highlighter from Smashbox. So I got this one in Golden Pearl. This is the packaging, all similar packaging here. And I actually really like it. It's really cute and different. And this is how it looks like in the inside. It feels really nice. I like how it has a mirror, just like the powder did. So now I'm just gonna get my highlighting brush, which is my Morphe G17. Take one of it is covered. Look at that. Like a little door. I like that. <laughs> so one of them is a straight on highlight. And the other one's like a pressed glitter. Depends like on the type of glow you want that day, I'm guessing. Let's see, I don't know if you can see it. Right there. The second one's the glitter. And the first one is like the highlight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the highlight, which is this side. Take my little brush. Now the real test here is to see if this emphasizes any of my texture. I'm just going to apply it. Ooh, that's really pretty. See the other side. How does this look on its own? The other one seems like it's just a glitter. It's much more sheer, like if you want a sheer type of glow. There you go. I mean, I think I like this side better. I mean, it doesn't really emphasize my texture. Just wish it was a little bit more golden. 
It's more like an icy golden, but it is really pretty. <laughs> now let's see how it looks on my nose. I mean, on my nose, I don't really have any texture, so I have no problem. And it is really pretty. It doesn't emphasize my texture either. It's wish it was a little bit more golden to be completely honest with you. All right, now I'm just going to apply some false lashes and mascara. And I'll be right back to give you my final review on the new Halo products. So I'm back and now I'm gonna give you my final review on these products. Okay, so the Halo powder, do not be fooled by the shade range. Like, I thought I was a light medium, but if I didn't test it out in the store, I would have gotten um the light medium. And the light medium is more of an orangey color. So I, I would recommend testing it out if you have it available in your Sephora. Now, I do recommend this just for all over your face. It's not really good for under eyes, it doesn't really brighten or do anything out of the ordinary. It does set your face. It doesn't emphasize my texture, which I like. It doesn't make me feel that matte. It's a little matte, but it doesn't make me feel like my face is dry, which is good. But I feel like it's nothing out of the ordinary. And it's pretty expensive for a powder, in my opinion. It's like... $40, I think, $42. I'll leave it in the description box below. So it didn't really blow my mind. I don't really think it's worth spending so much money when there's so many drugstore powders out there that could set your face and do the same job. Now, the highlight, it is really pretty. It's really nice and it doesn't emphasize the texture on my skin. But it didn't really wow me either. It's like, it's very beautiful. But there's other highlighters out there that I love even more. Like my OG Maybelline Master Chrome. And it's less expensive. They are good, but they didn't like wow me so much that it would take the place of my favorite products now, especially because my favorite products are drugstore and they're less expensive. I'm just seeing it on both perspectives. Now, if it really was like a blinding highlight that really didn't emphasize my texture that had just the right color, then yes, I would so fall in love with it, but it didn't really do anything that other highlighters out there don't do for me, right? So we have come to the end of this video. Comment down below if you want me to do more products on high-end products. Compare them with the drugstore. See my opinion if it's really worth during the splurge or spending a little bit more money. Um, or if you want to see more drugstore videos from me. If you want me to test certain products, I would love to do so. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And all right, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.